I'd like you, if you would, to, uh, to picture a scene. If you could imagine in your mind's eye a little convent on the outskirts of a small town somewhere in Ireland where nothing much ever happens. You know, the same kind of old routine, day in, day out, year after year. And then suddenly, one day from out of nowhere, there arrives this very, very strange, disheveled-looking nun who comes up to the convent door saying that she has orders to move in. I suppose back in the old days, you know, they probably would have checked her out a little more thoroughly. But, you know, recent times, the number of recruits has dropped off fairly drastically. And uh, I'm not suggesting now that standards have slipped, but they've streamlined the bureaucracy quite a bit, you know. <laughs> So they take her in, and in the following weeks and months, she totally disrupts the whole routine of the convent with all kinds of weird and bizarre behavior. And finally, one morning, the police arrive. They have an arrest warrant for the sister Josephine. And the whole story begins to unfold. Oh, sister Josephine, what do all these policemen mean? Coming to the convent in their grim limousine After Sister Josephine While you, Sister Josephine Sit with your boots upon the altar screen And smoke one last cigar What a funny nun you are the policemen say that Josephine is a terrorist in disguise For fifteen months or more been on the run the sisters don't believe it, no, that can't be Josephine. Just think about her tenderness towards the younger nuns. Oh, Sister Josephine, they're searching the chapel where you've been seen. The nooks, the crannies of the nuns' canteen. After Sister Josephine, while you, Sister Josephine, Take a farewell sip of Benedictine before your au revoir. What a funny nun you are. No longer will her snores be heard in chapel during prayers, or her lustful moanings fill the stilly night. No more empty bottles of altar wine come plunking from her cell. No longer will the cloistered toilet seat stand upright. Oh, Sister Josephine, founder of a convent poker team. They're searching through your bundles of Playboy magazine. After Sister Josephine, while you, Sister Josephine, give a farewell sniff of Ben's a dream to the convent budgery guard. What a funny nun you are. Admittedly, her hands were strong and hairy and embellished with the curious tattoo. Admittedly, her voice was on the deep side and she seemed to shave more often than the other sisters do. <laughs> oh, Sister Josephine, streaking through the suburbs when last seen, dressed only in your BBDs and rosary. What a funny nun you seem to